Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. It's me again, Madam Physik. For today's lesson, we are going to enter a new subtopic in this chapter, which is gravitational potential energy. So here is the learning outcome for today. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to define and use the formula of gravitational potential energy, which is given by U equals to negative GMM over R. This formula somehow look almost the same as the formula of force and gravitational field strength. So make sure you know the difference between them. Before we go any further, let's recap about the gravitational field strength. We know that for a massive spherical body, for example the Earth, the gravitational field lines are equally spaced and directed radially inwards towards the center. You can see that at the surface of the Earth, the gravitational field lines are almost parallel. If we could observe the field lines near the surface of the Earth, we could see that the lines are equally spaced and parallel to each other. It shows that the gravitational field strength is uniform near the surface of the Earth and has constant in magnitude, which is 9.81 meter per second squared. Let's look at the general definition of potential energy. Potential energy is the energy associated with position. For example, a ball that is going up, it will store some potential energy because it has a certain height from the surface of the Earth. To quantify this potential energy, there is a formula that is given by U equals to mgh. U is the symbol of this potential energy and m is the mass of the ball or any object, g is gravitational acceleration or also known as gravitational field strength that is constant near the surface of the earth which is 9.81 meter per second square and h represent the height or position of the ball. By using this formula, you can figure out the amount of energy stored or the amount of work required to bring any object to a certain height. U equals to mgh can be used to calculate the change of potential energy for an object that has a change in vertical height. However, this formula only valid for an object that is located near the surface of the Earth because we know that G is constant here and has a value of 9.81. What if the ball is brought far away from the surface of the Earth? Is the formula of U equals to MGH still valid for that position? If your answer is yes, do you really sure that at this position, the G is also 9.81? Well, to know the answer, first, we need to check the value of G at that position. We know that G is 9.81 near the surface of the Earth. Therefore, for the position that is very far from the Earth, the G should be less than 9.81. Because we know that the strength of gravitational field is weaker as the distance of the object is further. Therefore, to calculate the gravitational potential energy at that position, we cannot simply use this formula and assume that G is always 9.81. To know the gravitational field strength or G at this position, we can use the formula of AG that we learned in previous video. To calculate the gravitational potential energy at that position, we simply substitute the formula of AG into U equals to MGH. So M times the formula of AG and times with the height that is equal to r. The equation will then become u equals to gmm over r. This gravitational potential energy will represent the amount of work required to bring the ball to that point. When we look at the relation between u and r, we can see that the higher value of r, the less will be the value of u. This formula somehow contradicts with the theory of U where it should be increases with R. Therefore, in order to make the formula match with the theory, we can just simply put the negative sign in the formula. So the gravitational potential energy is always negative 
and you will see that the further the distance of object from the Earth, the gravitational potential energy will become less negative. It means that the magnitude of U is bigger. What if the object goes to infinity? What will happen to the value of U? From the formula of U equals to negative GMM over R, where big M is the mass of the Earth and small m is the mass of the rocket, when R goes to infinity, the magnitude of U will approach to zero because we know that 1 over infinity equals to zero. The relation is now makes sense. The further the distance R from the Earth, the higher will be the value of gravitational potential energy because U will become less negative and then U will become zero as R is infinitely far from the Earth. Let's say if you want to calculate how much work is done to bring the mass from point A to point B. The amount of work done is equivalent to the change of potential energy, which is the difference between final and initial U. So we replace each term with the formula of U and label the R accordingly, where B is the final position and A is the initial position. But don't forget the negative sign of U in the formula. Let us try once again if the object is brought from infinity to point B at a height r from the center of the Earth. To know how much work is done, we will do the same thing as previous case. So change of potential energy, where we minus final and initial potential energy. And for this time, the initial r is infinity because the object comes from infinity. This term will become zero because we know that any number divided by infinity is equal to zero. We finally come up with the same formula of u that is introduced earlier, which is u equals to negative g m m over r with a negative sign. That is why gravitational potential energy is defined as work done by gravitational force to bring an object from infinity to a certain point. So that's the end of our lesson. Hope to see you again in the next video and thanks for watching.